Apologies, Garvin. Sorry, Joe. How much did you lose with Fastway Couriers? Um, I don't really want to go into the amount of money I lost, like, but I lost a large amount. And the region of 20,000? In and around that. How? Will you explain to people, because people might think Fastway Courier, surely a courier company is simply a courier company, but they're not. They're one of the biggest courier companies in the world, and they operate through franchises. Yeah, they do, yeah. So tell me how that works. Well, it starts off, you pay. You have to actually buy a franchise for, from a, for a certain region in the country. Okay, where did you buy for? The region I bought was County Leitrim. County, okay. You buy that. How much do you pay for that? You buy I paid 15000 And what does that give you? It gives you the right, sorry, Joe, <clears throat> give you the right um, to, to do collections and deliveries in that area. And how much do you get paid for this? You get paid approximately one euro per delivery. Mm-hmm. And then for your collections, um, it all depends. It works on a label system. Do you understand, Joe? No, I don't. Explain no. the label system to me. Just, yeah, just courier. For, for listeners to, because I have a whole list of people who, you, you've lost up to 20 grand with Fastway Couriers. Who else is there? Is Michael there? Yeah. Michael Finn, how much have you lost with Fastway Couriers? Two grand. Two grand. And did you, you bought in as well? I did. Explain to people this franchise operation, will you please? Basically, you, you buy a territory, yeah. a certain territory, and you're, you do deliveries and collections in that specific territory. And yours didn't work out? No. But I, I, would you not just simply be an employee of Fastway Couriers? You can't. You're, you, have to be a, you have to buy into the company? Well, you're an owner driver and you buy into them. You buy the franchise for that particular yeah. territory? Okay. Yeah. Do you have a choice over what territory you can buy? It depends on what territories they have for sale. Of course, yes. And obviously the lucrative ones yeah. are already gone. Pretty much, yeah. Ken Lowry, good afternoon. Is Ken there? No, my, where's... Who, who else is there? Eamon, Eamon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How much did you lose with Fastway Couriers? Uh, about eight altogether, I would say. Eight thousand? Thousand, yeah. How long were you doing, doing the, in the business for? For about 18 months. What would 18 you, to 20 months. What do you say to people? Because they're very, very, and ah, fairness to them, they're very good ad, adverts, very good websites saying buy into the business now. It's a way to make money. Uh, one newspaper or headline said it's a way to make a million. What would you say to people who see these ads for Fastway Couriers? Uh, paper never refused ink. <laughs> and how did you get involved? It's to say. Well, then how, uh, how were well, you... Well, the thing, the thing about it is... Uh, when I, when I initially read, read, read uh, their, their advertisement, it was a five-day working week on your own business. Uh-huh. It was a five-day working week, but it was probably two weeks maybe within the one, uh, with the hours you were doing. And as, as well as that, your business in the tax bracket is all you were, you on your own, because you had to pay your own tax and, and start your own accounts. But other than that, uh, Fastway controlled more, more or less everything, because you had to do it their way or no way. They've been operating in Ireland for five years. They've 150 runs, and that that would be different franchise operators like yourself. Sorry, I didn't catch that. They F- Fastway have been operating in Ireland for five years. They've 150 franchisees, isn't that correct? Yeah. And they would operate like yourself. They buy into the company, and then they yeah. get pa- they get paid for every drop. Yeah, you get paid per drop and per pickup. Uh, it's, it's worked on a labelling system. Uh, uh, that, that's how we get paid, and we get a, uh, our our argument all along was that we got a very small percentage of of the labels, the label prices, and that's why it makes it so very hard to make money at it. Mm-hmm. How long did you stay in the business for? Uh, Eighteen to twenty months in or around. Okay, Michael, how long did you stay in the business for? Eight to nine months. And then Garvin, how long did you stay in Fastway for? I was there for about twelve months, Joe. Uh, and you all lost money. Is Ken there? Ken, fifty-one, fifty-five, one, and Fastway Couriers. Ken, good afternoon. Hi, how you doing? How much, um, much did you lose? I lost roughly between twenty and twenty-five thousand. With Fastway Couriers. With Fastway Couriers. Um, I was too, I was given the hard sell. Um, I was kind of felt myself. I was put, put under a little bit of pressure to sign the dotted line. Um, I went in. The regional officer spoke to me, told me all the good side of the story. Didn't tell me all the story, 
Um, he is, I suppose, a salesman, but I got half the side of the story. I signed the dotted line and ended up losing more than 20000 My God. And tell me, how, you, 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 how much do you pay to buy, a, buy an area? Um, I, initially, I paid 12500 to buy the area, and then on top of that, I also, because the area wasn't making money, so I bought a section of another area off Fastway as, as well. Um, to try to increase my earnings, but mm -hmm. that it all ended up with putting, you know, more money into the business and losing more as it went on. Okay, so it means that you 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 bought a particular area. Yes. Which was your area, by the way? It was the Ballina area. So you had to, any, anyone who got onto Fastway and wanted them to deliver a package in Ballina or or need accept a pa deliver or send the passage send the package in Ballina. You were the one who who picked up or dropped. That's correct. Okay. I would pick up from the Ballina area and bring back to Tune. From there, it would go to whichever was the closest step or to it. Um, in the mornings, the parcels would come into the Tune depot, and I would I would load my van and deliver to. Your area. When I said Ballina, that was a very very wide area. Of course. And how much did you get paid per delivery or pickup? Um, the pickup delivery um, varied. Depending on the size of the company, sometimes up to 50 cents you were getting paid for per pickup. So that's the price of a stamp. That's the price of a stamp. Um, and you had to drive up to a house or a business and collect that individual That is package. correct. For, that 50, is for correct. 50 cents? Uh, that was the lowest. Um, ranging from the stamps, to the, I think the quote, they say their average is, um, offhand now I'm not too sure, but I think it was about 270 or something they were quoting. But I don't think I ever got paid 270 or whatever per pickup. And for a delivery in your area? 130. Max? Max. Standard rate, 130. No matter how far you had to go? It didn't matter whether it was one person on top of a mountain. And is that, is, is that why Fastway are regarded as one of their very... They, they say we know and will beat our prices. Um, probably. To me, it's it, it, it kind of worked on the pyramid system. Explain. Um, that's, Ex explain. That's the, the explain was the price of your stamp, X amount went the whole way up the ladder. Um, you know, your regional office getting so much. Um, so how, how, much, how, much, how much on average would a business buy, pay for one of these Fastway stamps? Again, it varied. Um, the price of the stamps, um, the dearest was €10 Euro for an individual stamp. Okay. Um, some of them were being sold a uh, little over maybe €3, Euro, €3.50. And how much would you get from a €10 Euro stamp? From a €10 Euro stamp, which was the maximum you could get, um, again, offhand, maybe 250 but there was very, very little of them being sold because to compete, they were selling them cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. So it was getting cheaper to deliver a package to any part of Ireland? It was getting cheaper for the customer, but not for the delivery driver. So who was getting the most? So what percentage of the money was going to head office? Um, that I don't know. Well, how did you lose 25k? I lost 25k by going out every day and doing it and so not being able to pay for my insurance. Pay. And I was filling up my van. I, I didn't have a bad run at the end. So you worked I still, hard? I worked hard. I worked from probably half six in the morning till half seven in the evening. Eamon, why do you reckon you lost so much money? Are you there, Eamon? There's... M Michael? Yeah. Why do you, how do you reckon you lost money with Fastway? Why, how, how did you end? You worked, what, 14 hours a day? There, there, about, yeah. And how did you lose money? To be honest, I just wanted to get out as quick as I could. Because there was because no... I, I, was, I, I was just had enough. See, the advert says you'll own your own business, you'll be your own boss. Yeah. Is, is that not the case? No, sure. You're, you're always answerable to Fasa. You always have, It's their way or no way, like Eamon said. And if, you, if, 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 if a profitable business, if you, if you made a profit in your business and you decided to sell on, is it true they get one-third of the profit? Yeah. But you signed, you signed up to all of this, did you not? I did. Garvin, you signed up to all of this? I did, yeah. And what, 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 what led you to do it so? Well, it's the same as the other guys are saying there. I was given a great marketing talk and sales talk. And I, when I started off, I said... To the guy that the my free, the regional franchisee, I said to him, I said I needed to be earning a certain amount, and he says, "Oh yeah, no problem whatsoever." But it's the same. Like we were working every hour to God sent, and we still weren't making any money. Like okay, so these these four people so far have lost a significant amount of money, and they seem to be hard workers. Kevin, Kevin.